And of course, famously, Coons will create Balloon Dog. And this is a whole series. We're just looking at yellow. There are other colors, red, etc. Now, despite its 10-foot stature and 1-ton weight, Balloon Dog, yellow, uncannily conveys its ephemeral source, the actual Balloon Dog. It looks exactly like it. It looks like this weightless toy that you should be carrying around at a circus or county fair somewhere else. And he actually worked with a specialized foundry in California to cast and finish the work 60 separate precision engineered stainless steel parts because you can't just make a giant steel balloon dog. It just doesn't happen. So it all has to be broken down and put together. And of course, Coons isn't creating it himself. He doesn't have those skills. But this is artist is intellectual as much as it is artist is artisan. And he actually goes through a number of different foundries uh, at the time trying desperately to find one that can create this because it's a very complex form. There's a lot of strange little details that you have to get just right. Why is it such a problem? Because it is so familiar. If we didn't have just the right form, we could all pick it out in an instant. And so Coons had to be very, very careful with all these kitsch pieces. He has to be very careful to create something that is perfect. And yet it is perfect, yet it looks incredibly simple. Sort of like anyone who's really skilled at, well, just about any job. He stipulated not only that the outside of the sculpture should capture the curves and puckers of a balloon dog, but also that its inside suggests the free circulation of air, as if it were actually fashioned from a single steel balloon. Now, Coons imparted balloon dog with an air of innocent playfulness, as well as an element that suggests uh, sexual orifices or protuberances. There's a certain air of sexuality when you get to something of this size. Uh, so it's something that you will see, that most people will see at some level. Whether you discuss it, whether you accept it, is a whole nother realm, but it's one of those subconscious thoughts that tends to pass through people's minds with this piece. He's also hinted at darker themes in the piece by comparing its form to a Trojan horse, the giant wooden gift that the Greeks bestowed on their Trojan enemies while Greek soldiers lurked inside. In fact, we're kind of waiting for something to happen here, as if it's part of a strange dark Doctor Who plot, where suddenly we're going to have little alien creatures or little alien shiny dog things jumping around and reproducing, and we won't be sure quite what it is until it's too late. So there's always some element of exploration with this. Uh, mental exploration, you're sort of supposed to pay attention to that. You're supposed to pay attention to where your mind goes as you contemplate this. Now, like all of his celebration sculptures, Balloon Dog is one of five examples in different colors, lending each version a unique character and distinct emotional charge, because, of course, we attach emotion to colors. So, Yellow Balloon Dog or balloon dog yellow, as in this case, makes us feel cheerful, or should make us feel cheerful. Now, I mentioned that there are five. There's actually quite a few of these uh, that he has created. There are five original balloon dogs, and then he's got numerous copies being created all the time, because it's the sort of piece that can be recreated. Once you kind of figure out how you're going to do it the first time, you can start recreating it from there. And by the way, this will be inspirational because we see other artists creating pieces like these based on this balloon dog idea. So it's not just speaking to the viewer, it's speaking to other artists. And that's really hard to do because it's one thing to speak to Joe Public. It's wholly another to speak to someone who spends their life trying to be incredibly creative. And the fact that they're willing to use your idea says that your idea is 
pretty powerful at the end of the day. So I would not discount Coons and his balloon dogs or any of his other pieces just because it looks easy or it looks like it's simply a copy. Sometimes creating a perfect copy in a scale that we don't expect or a material that we don't expect can be incredibly powerful. 